good, 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 good. good. Vans are open, I think. Oh. Woo! <laughs> that was crud. I put it right up against that. That was just like all sorts of stupid. Okay, so in one of my most recent videos, we, we cleaned out the hot water tank. We, we took a pressure sprayer and we stuck it up in there and we sprayed around and we knocked out all this nasty scale um, and tried to blast it off the inside of the water heater. However, I have noticed here recently that our water heater is singing to us. When we turn on hot water, we get the oh, the whole time. And so what that usually means is there's like a piece of scale or something that's actually caught inside of your backflow preventer or uh, caught inside of your check, uh, your diverter valve. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to use uh, household cleaning vinegar to clean out the inside of this. So the first thing we're gonna do, we, we just finished blasting out the inside of this, so we're gonna place our, this is a hot rod. You may just have a plug, but this is a hot rod so we can actually heat the, heat the water up with electricity. So I'm just gonna put that back in there and just kind of screw it in. I'm not going to tighten it down or torque it down or anything. I'm just going to do that. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the by it's on bypass right now. We're going to turn that over to normal flow. And now what we're going to do is going to we're going to put vinegar in the fresh water tank of the RV and dilute that with water. And then what we'll do is we will uh, open up some hot water valves inside the rig and actually use the water pump to pump the vinegar out of the fresh water tank and fill up the inside of this water heater. Then we'll turn it on, let it heat for, for you know, maybe three or four or five hours and let that just really, really work. Let that vinegar soak in there and clean it out and then we'll just drain it out. Um, another way to do that is actually to remove this, this pressure relief valve right here. You can actually unscrew that and then get a funnel and pour the vinegar water solution in like that. But this is just going to be the easiest way for us. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Is we will open up the fill tank uh, access port and we'll take the cap off of that. And now what we'll do is get a funnel and uh, start pouring the vinegar in here. I've got uh, 10 gallons of vinegar and we're going to dilute that with uh, 10 gallons of water. So we'll have roughly a 50 to 50 minutes. All right, so what we've got is just a length of tube going in and a funnel. And we're just gonna pour in the vinegar. All the tank vents are open, are open. All the tank vents are open, I think. Woo! That was crud. I put it right up against that. That was just like all sorts of stupid. Okay, so let's try again. So we've done. Pour the vinegar in here. All right, so now it's time to put water in the fresh water tank on top of all that vinegar. And uh, so four gallons of, of vinegar for every two gallons of water. So I have a water hose and I have a, a fill apparatus so I can get water into the water tank but I also have this little cheap thing uh, you can pick it up on Amazon it's a little digital gauge that'll tell you how much water actually goes through a pipe um, I have this for when uh, for when I want to know how much water we're putting into putting into our uh, tank on the RV and so what we'll do is we'll just uh, I've got it zeroed out now so it says zero gallons have been used so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put put that on the spigot or on the end of the end of the hose and now I will put the fill valve on filling apparatus here and we'll screw that on so now what we can do is just put that there and turn the water on and now it is putting fresh water down into the tank right now we've got half a gallon that's a gallon all right 
there we go. And now we have water that's mixed with vinegar in the fresh water tank. So now what we'll do is we will go inside and we will turn on a hot water spigot and then we'll turn the pump on and we'll let the pump pump all of that vinegar water solution from the fresh tank and fill up the hot water tank. All right, so we're inside the RV right now. We've got the tank uh, with four gallons of vinegar and two gallons of water. And so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna turn on the hot water side of the sink. Of course, we're not hooked up to shore water and power is off to the water pump, so nothing happened. We've got the bypass turned off on the hot water, on the water heater, so that when we turn on the pump, the pump is going to, pre to, to pump water from the fresh water tank down to the water heater fill up the water heater and then should spit out here at the sink. So that's all we gotta do now is we'll go over here and we'll turn the water pump on. All right, so now we've got a little bit of water coming out of the sink here. It's not a lot, but what happening is that as the, as the water is going into the water heater, it's filling that up and the air that's being displaced from the water heater is pushing, is pushing the leftover water in the lines out of the sink. And we'll know that because I can't smell any vinegar at the water when we get full pressure here, which is just about to happen. Now the water heater is full. Still no vinegar smell. There it is. Yep, and there it is. So now we have that hot water tank completely full of that vinegar water solution. So now we're just going to let it sit. Uh, we have let the vinegar water solution kind of sit in the tank for a couple days. I've cycled the heat on, let it heat, let the water tank heat up, turn the water heater off, let it cool down, heat it up, cool it down, heat it up, cool it down. Now it's cool back there. So now it's time to drain the vinegar out, uh, drain all the vinegar out of the fresh tank and out of the water heater. Flush it real good with some water, drain that out, we're back rolling. Hopefully the vinegar soak has clean, has fixed my problem where the water heater has been singing to me. So let's go on out there and let's do this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take that plug out down here and we're going to drain all the vinegar out of this tank. You see it kind of glug, glug, glugging. If you pull the vent, that's how fast it'll empty. Okay, so what we'll do now, drain the fresh water tank. Once that's done, we'll close that valve. Uh, then we'll hook up to some shore water and we'll turn that on and we'll run some once run some water through the water heater tank and kind of rinse the tank out give it a real good rinse we'll also do the same thing for the fresh tank we'll fill that up and then we'll drain it out just get all that vinegar um, out of there and then of course in the spring when we do our sanitize uh, when we put some bleach in there we'll, we'll rinse all that out too so that should be good So you can see water is just running through the water lines and then straight out this tank. What we can do is put our finger over the hole and kind of fill it up a little bit and then drain it out again, making sure we get all the vinegar out of there. We'll also put some water in the tank, in the fresh tank, and then run the pump back here to the water heater and rinse the fresh tank out as well. And you can see, water's just draining out of that tank because I've got fresh water running into the fresh tank. Definitely not a job you want to wear with good shoes. So we'll go back here, turn this back to the water pump so now there's no water going into the fresh tank. Should be back to the, hot wa to the water heater. There. So 
we'll do is come up here and get way back in here to that valve right there. And we'll turn that valve off. All right, now we're back over here. We're gonna put some water back into the fresh tank that the valve isn't open on. So now it's gonna fill up that fresh tank with some water. We'll let that fill up and then we'll drain it out making sure that we, uh, that we get all of the vinegar or as much of the vinegar off as we can. Then once there's some uh, water in the fresh tank, we'll turn on the pump over here. Okay, and you can see the pump right here. And we'll turn the pump on and then we'll pump some fresh water through the pump, get the vinegar, get all the vinegar out of that as well. All right, one thing to remember here is that uh, with, with the water coming in here, if, we're, if we put it on shore water, the water right now is just running straight through here and going out to the water heater and just draining on the ground. If I turn this over to, uh, to uh, or if I, turn the hot if I turn the water hose off, the water pump kicks on and starts sucking water out of the fresh tank that we just put in there. And now the water pump is pushing water out of the water tank and back to the water heater to really flush the lines out. Locked. I'll flush the line. All right, so the water pump has now pulled most of the water out of the fresh water tank. So we're going to turn it off here. We're also going to turn off the water. We're going to unhook the water. And now we're going to drain everything out because we're putting the Holy Roller back into storage. I'm going to turn on our low point drain so we can drain water out of there. And we'll close those up. And now we'll go over and drain the tank. Looks like the water heater is just about finished up draining. We will grab that handle. Okay, and open that. <laughs> All right, so for now this project is done. What we've done is we have uh, put the vinegar solution into the tanks. We've let that sit. We've let it sit in a water heater. Uh, hopefully that solution has has dissolved some of the stuff that was making that uh, that whine. Uh, then we have now uh, cycled the hot water heater or the water heater a few times to warm it up and cool it down. We've drained all that. We've rinsed everything out. We've rinsed the fresh water tank, the pump, and the water heater. We've drained all that, drained all the water out of the RV, buttoned up and plugged up everything back, uh, hit the low point drains, and uh, now it's time to take the Holy Roller uh, back to her storage where she's going to sit until the next time we take a trip. So. Uh, Hope this has helped you. Uh, make sure that you get out there in RV. Get out there and have fun with your kids. There's a lot of love in small spaces. Spend some time, not just quality time, but quantity time. Kids need that. Uh, but most importantly, the most important thing they need and you need is to make sure at church on Sunday.